Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Nick Does Golf. Really glad you can make it for this one. Today is gonna to be slightly different. So a couple of weeks ago, I celebrated my 25th birthday. Now this got me thinking. I thought about everything that I've learned within my lifetime. I've had really good times and really bad times. Everybody goes through these. From this, I tried to draw all the positives that I could think of and try and break it down into 10 solid points. So with that in mind, I'm gonna do exactly the same with the golf game. But of course, we're not gonna do 10 because that's very long-winded. We're gonna break it down into five. So let's get down to business. This is Nick Does Golf. So I'm going to outline five key points that I would say that I have learned from, from playing in my golf career. Now these can be also applied to the context of life. Point number one, you've got to learn how to accept the uncontrollable. This is a huge point and not uncommon either. Ask any golfer at your golf club. They will have had some sort of bad luck during their round. Doesn't matter what it is. They could have hit the most perfect shot you could think of and it's took so, some sort of bad bounce the wind might have got it it might have hit the flag and pinged off the side of the green whatever it is they cannot control that you cannot control that and this is what i would pass on to somebody that is just learning to start the game or is literally just at the beginning of playing once that ball has left the club face and it's in the air you can no longer control it you've done your job then it's down to the elements. This is also applicable to life. Think about some of the things that you've done that's out of your control. In my opinion, this is why everything happens for a reason. Point number two. Don't be influenced by other people. Now in a golfing context, this could be something as simple as you're playing a par four with your friend, they hit driver, it hits a tree, comes back out into the middle of the fairway. They influence you to hit driver, you hit the trees, and it goes the opposite way, into the long grass, you've lost your ball. Penalty shot. You've been influenced by somebody. You haven't made that decision. This is why playing your own game is massive. If you do not play your own game and get influenced by others, this is where bad score is gonna creep in, consistency is gonna be out the window, your strategy is gone, you're not gonna play very well. Also, you can apply this to the context of life as well. Don't be influenced by others, make your own decisions. This is the best thing you can do to bring out the good in yourself. Point number three, patience. Patience is massive when you're out on the golf course and also in life. You might not be getting the certain things that you want to out on the golf course. Good scores, for example, you might have had three bad rounds. But if you're patient and you work on things, things will improve and you'll reap the rewards from what you are doing. Sticking at something has pretty much been ingrained into me from my parents. This is something that I would definitely push towards somebody that is just starting out, trying out the game, getting out on the course. I would definitely tell them to stick at it. I've been playing the game for 20 years and I haven't cracked it. Golf is a game of continuous improvement. If you can improve, brilliant. If you hit a little bit of a slump, don't worry about it. Just persevere with it and go with the flow. This is the most important thing that you can do and this is why staying patient is effective. 
Point number four is respect. Within golf, you respect who you're playing with, who you're playing against, and you need to respect yourself. Golf is not an aggressive sport. So many times you hear about staying in the moment. You can't afford to lash out at yourself, at your bag, at your ball, whatever it is. You can't afford to do that. Having respect for every part of the game is pivotal. In the past, I've played games or matches where I've got hammered. I think I lost eight and six once when I was a junior playing for the county. I lost eight and six. I was useless. I could not hit the ball. But at the end, when the lad beat me, I still shook his hand and said, well done. This is the whole point of respect. This is a big part of golf, big part of life, and it's something that you need to take with you if you're going to learn from it. And last but not least, point number five is never stop learning. With the game of golf, you can never stop learning. You can always improve. Leading back to my other point of continuous improvement, you can never stop learning about this game. Whether it's rulings, how to swing the club better, what equipment to use, there is so much out there. This game is always evolving, always updating. It's crazy. So never stop learning. Learn something new, whether it's a year-on-year -year thing. Learn one thing every single year that you haven't done before, you didn't know about. This is gonna help you a hell of a lot with your golf and also life in general. And there we have it. There's my top five things that I have learned about my golf game. You can also apply this to life in general. Something that I would pass on to somebody just starting out with the game, somebody that's been playing for a hell of a long time. These are the things that I would say to them. I can guarantee if you were to use all five of these, this is gonna hold you in good stead for a lot of things to come in the future. I hope you found this really knowledgeable, insightful and helpful for you to take forwards into your golf games and your livelihoods. If you like this video, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, Nick Does Golf. Also, make sure you follow my social media platforms on Instagram, Twitter and TikTok to keep up to date with all the latest videos, updates and what I get up to on a daily basis. Thanks very much for watching guys and see you very soon.